Hello guys and welcome back to another video with me Slivers FX and this Gothic 2 New Balance mod. Today we're gonna be doing the Missing Novices quest where we left off last time. It's been a while. Um, I have no excuse for that, but let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is get to the Brotherhood camp because it's not gonna show up anywhere else. And when you get to the door, one of the Templars will talk to you that one of the uh, leaders in Brotherhood Camp want to talk to you as well. That leader would be Bal Namib. Did you want to see me? Yes, that's right. I have a matter for you that can wait and no. We say, okay, where should I start? The first thing we need to do is check on the camps where they are gathering the swamp wheat. So the first one would probably be near Lobart's farm, which is obvious since you've started the game there. And you know where to look. I am in chapter 4, but this is already accessible in chapter 3. So, um, yeah. You can do this earlier. But if you don't want to, you can always leave it for later. It won't affect the outcome. The next one would be near the Black Trolls uh, cave. Uh, look, one of the Seekers already here. I'm gonna take care of them. And oh yeah, I don't have the Will of the Wisp out. Make sure you have it all out at all times if you're picking up stuff around. Here is our second person we need to talk to, Ba Lam. Okay, we're gonna return to him later. But the third camp that we need to check out is near the Circle of the Sun. If you don't know where the Circle of the Sun is, well, you need to play the Gothic 2 original or gold. This is the Circle of the Sun, the uh, Stonehenge of Gothic 2, as we call it. But it's called officially the Circle of the Sun. And once you get down there, down here to uh, where the stairs end, you're going to take a left. And this is where the next or the last camp is going to be. Now, the novices have already disappeared. And they tried to kill one of the Templars here, who is on the floor. Gar Gore Hanis, who is apparently going to die. Unfortunately. He dies of bleeding, basically. But it doesn't show. He's just sitting there, I guess. But he's gone. And now we need to check out the uh, the cave where the Assassin's Guild have their um, hideout now. There's going to be a murderer in here. And this is one of the troops from Masyaf's Lair. And he's going to be carrying an Assassin's Blade. We're going to go back to Bald Namib now. In the uh, Brotherhood camp. He's still sleeping, apparently. And we're gonna show him this assassin sword. I have. Oh God, he break indeed. And what? According how? Here, take. Yes, a very. Find out. It try it. Okay. Now we need to find out who this blade belongs to. So we're gonna check out all the blacksmiths. I'm gonna go to Carl first. It's a camp. My bad, I clicked the wrong one. Here's Carl. Oh, that's Snipes, never mind. They look similar. Uh I need your help. I need your help. What is the map? I have a very unusual and I need hmm. Here you go. Oh, I have take it. Okay, cool. Um then the next person we're gonna talk to is Harrod in the city. Are you an experienced? Well, it then look. Oh, here it is. Well, here and it's. Oh. All right. And the last blacksmith that we know of is in Nedbeck's camp. So we have to go to the Valley of Mines and go atop of the uh, the cliff. This blacksmith also uh, buys used armor that you don't need anymore for in exchange for magic ore if you. 
if you have too many armors. I have too much magic ore anyway, so I don't need to sell anything. I like hoarding. <laughs> so this is where we're gonna find Darion. I need your what exactly? A rare well then. Here you. This is that and he tells you that this blade is probably made in Varant, which is basically in um, Morgrad. It's part of the uh, the big continent where also Mortana is. We're going to go back to Corinus and we're going to go to the harbor area and we're going to talk to Gonzalez, who apparently is one of those people that is from Varant. The loading time's a little bit slow today, probably because... Um, I have a lot of saves already on this profile. Now, if we can find Gonzalez, he's right here. You are an assassin, aren't you? Huh? Did you figure it? I, I have really. Well, can you mm. hear you? Incre to tell the I, I, so, but, oh, I, I, <laughs> so he tells you that this blade is unusual. That is even here. And that means that one of the assassins uh, from Varent came in proximity of Corinus. We're going to go back to Balnamib now, to the Brotherhood. And now that is after 10 a.m. in the morning, he stands right here instead of sleeping. I managed to find out who these were the warriors of the but the blue. Also. All right, which collection swamp should which I go to? I assume the one that is located in the north. Where? Okay, nice. And now we're going to go protect Balam and his novices from certain attacks of these assassins. Because they keep taking the novices. I'm I'm not sure why, but I guess it's convenient for them. You again? What brings you? I'm here. The attack? Hey. All right. You Who are you? Why aren't you with the others? Is there any work for me? You can bring him some swamp wheat. I have and I get an elixir of life for it. Do you have another job for it? For us? The second job is uh -huh, night brussels. That means we have to wait until nighttime. So I am going to... Oh, look, an orc. <laughs> I'm going to wait until it's night. And we're going to change into a meat bug. And we're going to go inside that little cave. See if it's... About midnight should be fine. I think I still have it equipped. No, I don't. I have Oblivion instead. Let me see where our little... Uh, da, 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 I keep missing it. Ah, here it is. Number seven. I'm going to go as a need meat bug. We're going to go inside the cave and then the uh, little quest updates automatically. And when it updates, you can turn back into a human by pressing enter. And there's going to be a little ghost skeleton in here and you can kill it. Nice. You can go back to Balam now. Who is actually standing in front of the tent. I figured out. And who was making Gordon? I hope that you all right. How are, How are things you? going? Do you have any idea? I this meat would love and but don't Okay, next stop is food for the collectors. So we have a few scavengers that popped out outside this camp. It's gonna be mountain scavengers. Whoa, a few more. Good call. I think there's a total of eight, if not more. And we're gonna give all this special meat from mountain scavengers to Balam. I brought you meat from Mountain Scat. Great. Here, take a look. Yes. Here. On I now we're going to go back to uh, the Brotherhood camp and we're going to go see Gorna Kosh, I think. That's his name. Let me check. Um, Where is he even? Is he this one? I think it's this one. No, it's not. It's the other one. Oh, they, they have such weird names, but you have to check all, all of them. I wonder where this one went, though. Because this one is Gornavit, but I don't think it's this one. No, it's not. Where's the other one at? 
is bizarre. It's like he disappeared. Alright, let's sleep again until the morning. Maybe he'll show up. Gornatov, that's the one I've been looking for. I arrived from Ida. What does our spirit? He wants you to send a few guards. Quiet, do you? There we go. So he sends out a few guards to the uh, the same camp. So we're gonna go back to the same camp, and we're gonna continue our quests here. Your new Templars, you can pickpocket. Arrive here. Let's see, and Tirux is the leader of these Templars. As I yes. How did you become a Templar? It's pretty boring here. Do you think your people are well prepared? How about a little sword practice? And is there anything else we can do? So, he wants sheepskins, but I think there's an option to ask... Um, what's his name? Grimbald for a few shadow skins. I need sheepskins. But he gives you shadow beast hide instead. And for free, you don't have to pay anything for it. Let me see what else he has. Okay, he, you can just buy directly instead of opening a shop. So he gives you two Shadow Beast skins, and T-Rex will actually take these Shadow Beast skins. And you get more experience that way. Um, I got them for free. And he gives you a few uh, elixirs. Let's see what else. Uh huh. We need to go back to the Brotherhood camp now and ask uh, one of the uh, Gors. <laughs> I think it's the same one, Gornatoth, to ask about mentoring uh, the rest of the Templars. So T Rex will be very happy to hear that. We're gonna go back to the Black Trolls hideout again. It's a lot of coming and coming back and forth to this place, but in the end, it's worth it. Uh, let's see, still standing here. Okay, nice. Hey. And now I think we can talk to uh, Balam again. Everything is as you can see. I need to watch over. Okay. I think now we have to wait until night, because at night that's when they get attacked. So I'm gonna say real quick. And we're gonna wait until night time. Ten hours. Well, I think uh, by the time Balam actually stands here near the tent, you can ask him again if everything, everything is okay. And, all, and that's where he starts turning his head around. Mm, what a and that's when these guys attack. And they pre hit pretty hard if you don't have decent armor, because their swords are sort of sharp. Although there's only four of them. Okay, Balam will say now um, if everything's okay again. You poor sucker! You don't even have any gold on you. I think that's about it. I think now we can go back to uh, Balnamiba again. See, I think he's sleeping again. Yes, he's sleeping again. He doesn't do much work, does he? Uh, the collector's camp was attacked. He gives us an amulet of shadows. And you can ask him if there's anything new. Okay, I think now we need to go to town and we need to ask uh, somebody exactly what happened in one of those... Uh, one of those camp that got attacked. The problem is they're only here during the daytime. So again, I have to sleep until the next day. Sleep another hour extra until they show up. Balnamip and Loki, I think his name is. Yeah, Loki. And then you ask him, I would like to talk to you. And you ask him all these questions, and then you're gonna have to prepare him an elixir. An elixir that will cost you an arm and a leg. 
so to speak. It's not an arm and a leg, it's a very, uh, very uh, rare component. Oh, sorry, not the right one, not the right ladder. <clears throat> You're gonna go have to get something called a cactus flower. And if you've been to the uh, the Plateau of the Ancients, that's not going to be a problem. But if you haven't, you're going to have to do another quest. I need a squatting about a... Okay, cool. Let's see. So, for example, the Desert of Varan has this... Um, this special flower. But there's also one in town. Unfortunately, I don't think we can get it. We can ask Zorus, I think. Let me see. I don't think it's Zorus. No, it's not Zorus. Uh, appropriate ingredients, King's Rail, climates. Maybe we can ask Constantino for it. Maybe he has it. I need one very rare plant. He's called the Okay, he doesn't have it. Let's ask Zorus, because he apparently sold it to him. Where'd you get this plant from? And then we need to go to the monastery. We're gonna talk to uh, Neoras down in the basement, who is also the potion master of the monastery. Yeah. Did you recently buy a rare? I often. I am referring to. Oh, you You see, I'm in a court, and I also maybe forget about it. But perhaps. So what? Well, getting put. Uh, you can give him one black ore, and he's gonna give you the cactus flower. Now, I believe, I believe we also need. Let me see again what we need. So we need uh, elixir spirit. King Sorel, two healing herbs, five mandibles of the mine crawler, aquamarine, and a cactus flower. I believe we already have the King Sorel. If not, we're gonna have to buy one, or actually two in this case, but because we also need an elixir of spirit to create one. Or we can just create and buy both at the same time. Uh, I think Zorus has both. I think I checked it earlier. So he has an elixir of spirit here and three kings of Sorel, so that's fine. And now we can go back to the alchemist in the Brotherhood camp. He's gonna create the potion for Loki to remember what happened to him in one of the camps. Yeah. I have all the ingredients. Yeah. How's my potion doing? He creates it instantly. They used to have these time frames. Uh, I'm not sure if they still have them in the in the Nightmare version. I'll have to check that out because I haven't played the whole thing through yet. But apparently uh, here they just uh, discarded all the time frames. Sometimes you'd have to wait three days. But if you talk to the person just the moment after he says that... It just activates it uh, automatically. So Loki's gonna fall asleep here for a few seconds. One-handed swords, hand and a half <clears throat> swords. Two-handed swords, short swords, those that are slightly longer than long swords. And then he's gonna get back up. What was that? Oh crap! So it's that. Yes, and you. And now he's gonna go to a place. You don't have to follow him. You can just uh, teleport there. So I'm gonna go back to the black uh, troll first. So he just appears to the place he needs to be. But the place he needs to be is literally right next to the Brotherhood camp. Convenient, isn't it? And I think there's even gonna be a dark master here if you're doing this in chapter four. But I think I already cleared it, so only Loki will appear here. And what do we have behind? And uh, apparently, this looks like a gate that's gonna open, right? So we're gonna have to go to this area here. The quest will update, and this is where the amulet that Balnami found is gonna go. So you have to go back to Balnami. Yeah. I need that amulet. Then we're gonna go back to that uh, area. 
and we're going to open up a cave that's going to go inside the Masyaf's lair. There we go. This thing should open. Just like that. And now you can go talk to Gonzalez in the uh, harbor. And you're going to tell him where to go. And you're going to actually have to go there with him. Now, Gonzalez is a very good fighter, so you don't have to worry about him dying or anything. Just make sure you get there in one piece altogether. Alright, I'll see you there in a minute. Torches. And once you reach the uh, the cave here, the Gonzalez on, will I talk to you and the first. quest okay. updates. And this is where we're going to end our video. The uh, Missing Novices is still a quest until you finish the Masyaf Slayer. So we'll put that separately because uh, there's quite a lot of quests in there that we need to finish. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, guys, please leave a like and I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.